quick summation for you. In the previous video, I explained why people use non-photo blue pencils. I also showed you the process of me actually doing a sketch with non-photo blue. And as promised, in this video, we are taking that sketch that I did, we're putting it into Photoshop, and I'm going to show you step by step how to remove that blue pencil line. Basically, you do some magic and make the blue line disappear. So as a quick example, if I were to do a normal sketch without non-photo blue, it would look extremely messy, kind of like this. That is a lot of excess information to sort through when you're actually doing your inks or your painting over top. Now, if you wanted to do this the classic way, or maybe you didn't have good enough light to take a photo, then what you can do is you can put it into your scanner, and in your scanner settings, you can omit the blue that way. But since I'm too lazy to plug in my scanner, we're gonna do it this way. Thankfully, I do use a colored pre-sketch, so it looks like this. And I'm just gonna take a photo of that in good lighting so the paper doesn't have any shadows on it. And I'm gonna email it to myself so I can edit it in Photoshop. Once you have it in Photoshop, I'm using Photoshop CS6, by the way. We are going to play with a bunch of layer adjustments. If you don't know what a layer adjustment is, it's just this setting that you can put above your image so that anything below it in the layers menu is affected by this layer adjustment. So you can change the color, the saturation, the hue, all these things. So first things first, I'm going to show you what this would potentially look like if you just omitted the blue altogether, something like when you scan it in. Just go into your channels menu and get rid of that blue by only selecting the blue. That's what it can look like. And that's it, ta-da, you're done. Kidding, because you can't actually just keep it like this. You actually need to change, you actually need to change the, the file, not just the settings for the file. If only it were that easy, Padawan. If we wanted it to look exactly like that, then we would do this. Go into your channels menu and delete the red layer that you see there. Once you've done that, go and delete the magenta layer. Once you've deleted that, you got rid of all the blues. It's basically gray as well. So make a new file, copy your clipboard and paste what you just made into the new file. I want a bit more strength to the line. So I'm gonna go into the curves menu and play around with that until I get something I like. Ta-da! You can use this, clean it up a bit and pass it off as liner. Or you could just keep it as a clean sketch and use it as the basis for your digital inking or your digital painting. It's just making it extremely easy to read your sketch because you can make the under sketch go away. So you only have your like your good sketch, not your messy sketch, but your good sketch. You don't have to deal with loads of messy gray graphite lines. The blue just goes away like everyone I love. Hopefully that revealed some of the mystery as to why people use blue lead. But remember, it does not have to be blue. Personally, I like to use red and purple as well. Thank you guys for listening. I will see you next week. But before you go, if you found this video useful or if you know somebody else who might find it useful, please consider sharing it and then we will demystify the entire mystery of the non-photo blue pencil. And if you wanna do me a huge favor, please hit that like button so the YouTube algorithm thinks I'm cool and not just my mom. Actually, my mom doesn't think I'm cool. Peace.